We sold I just out. Can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us. Okay, lighting is terrible. <clears throat> we are all set up now. I did not update you at all, but we're here. We're at Mustard Seed Market is what it's called. The fee, I think, to, at least for me to vend, I'm in an outdoor tent. It was $3.25, so definitely the most expensive we've had so far. Um, so I have like very anxious energy right now. It is literally about to start though. It took three hours to set up, casually setting up. It wasn't like rushed at least, um, but it was raining. And so that alone was like making me stress out. Um, tonight's VIP night, so what that means. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. We don't happen to have a vehicle on the track, do we? Um, just in the vendor spot. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, we're sweaty, we're humid and it's still kind of sprinkling. I just don't know what to do with my stuff tonight. I don't know if we need to like pack it up. I think we probably need to pack it up, but hopefully be able to still, leave. I don't know, it makes me really nervous leaving it too. Figure that out. Oh yeah, goals. Um, we wanna triple that vendor fee. So let's say a thousand is our goal, which based on the past like three shows, uh, that's gonna be hard to do. So let's just like fingers crossed, this is gonna be a completely different experience and we're gonna bring positive vibes in and let's do it. So I will update you throughout and hopefully I have enough room on my memory card. I was not even thinking about taking stuff off. So I hope I can update you a lot. <laughs> if not, I can for sure do it on Sunday, but we'll see how far I can get with this. It is nine. We just got to the hotel. Did I tell you we are staying in a hotel tonight? I don't remember if I told you that. My mom got the hotel. Um, so don't scream at me being like, what are you doing, Brittany? <laughs> I know, I know. Um, just for tonight, we are staying here. It is so pretty though. This hotel, are you serious? It's a home suite or a home bridge? I don't remember, I don't know. But look how big this room is. Amazing, okay. Um, I didn't check in, I'm so sorry. I don't have a lot of room on this memory card. I will do so many more check-ins on Sunday. I just need to get through today and tomorrow. Um, but I'll update you. We did, we did money today. We did make some money. Two hours in, it took, it was a four hour VIP night. I think it took two hours to make a sale, um, but we did. And I will, I will tell you more later. I need to go shower, I'm disgusting. Love you so much. Oh, outfit of the day I had on rain boots because it was raining. <laughs> I figured I would do outfit of the day with this giant mirror. We are doing pink and my new tennis shoes. So hopefully they don't get disgusting. And here is a hotel tour I did not give you. Look at this giant room. That is the size of half my house. <laughs> it's so big. Okay. Ooh. We're gonna go pick up Starbucks and then we will see you at the show. Today, I think I made around, I did not count it, but I think I made around 200 yesterday. Um, and it was very slow because it's VIP night. It's kind of like in my experience, my limited experience with Fridays, it's always slow on Fridays and from watching people do Fridays. And so today theoretically should be the best day. So let's have the best day. I'll see you. Soon.
I just pulled in my driveway. Hour 40 drive. I got stuck behind a couple of trucks painting. It would have been fast. Well, no. Hour 50 drive. I got stuck behind painting trucks. I had never been behind a truck that was painting before. And I say one truck. There were like five trucks. Because some people were doing cones. Some people were painting. Some people had a truck with a sign saying, do not pass. You can't pass trucks when they're painting because it's wet paint. And so that was really fun. <laughs> um, day two is over. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage today. I didn't get any footage of my neighbor um, and she's not gonna be there. She already packed up and left because like, it. I, I understand it, I understand it. Um, but I wanted you to, to see her booth because her and I are friends now. Um, her name's Jess, I will link her stuff below. I am blanking right now on the name of her shop, but I will have it written here for you guys. Um, super sweet. And the neighbor to my right, also very sweet, has a very sweet dog. I'll show you guys her tomorrow. She does um, like air fresheners and jewelry. And I was on her TikTok, she has a TikTok with a million views. And um, she got, she said she got so many orders from that video. I'm like, oh my, I bet so, I can't imagine. I had a video with 100,000 views and got 200 orders. Can you imagine a million views? She's like, I stopped selling online after that video because I just like, it was too much. I'm like, dang. <laughs> But I get it. Um, so she's there. So since my one neighbor left, I asked the organizers right before I left to come home um, if I could just go ahead and kind of like take her area tomorrow. So I'm going to spread my booth out and put my clothing racks out there um, because they were cool with that. And yeah, so we're going to change things up again. Best sellers today were sweatshirts and it was so hot. I was soaked in sweat and people were buying sweatshirts. Love that, love that for me. Need to get those off my hands. Um, they'll start selling again a lot in like fall markets, but like summer's not it, but maybe it is. I don't know, I've never done summer markets. Um, I just can't imagine being sweating at a market and then be like, you know what I should do? Buy a sweatshirt. So whatever, I'm happy about that. Uh, I sold a decent amount of bookmarks. I don't know what else sold. I have not tallied anything, but I'm almost positive I've covered my booth fee. I'm like 100, nine, no, I'm 100% sure. I mean, that's not almost, that is positive. No, I'm pretty positive. So, one more day. May I say, so they gave us these cups, which are really cute. It says, I love um, MSM, Mustard Seed Market. And they gave three free teas a coupon for it because they have a tea uh, truck. The tea is so good. I had to stop myself from getting another tea. It's so good. My mom bought, they have like a big jug tumbler for $20, but you get lifetime, as long as you have the jug, refills for only $3. And that's a big jug. That is a deal. So she got one of those. So then we can just like share it at markets that they're at, which we for sure are going to be at the one in September. So it's going to pay for itself. If you ever go to a mustard seed market, get the tea. It's called the tea truck pretty sure very simple um all right i need to go in and say hi to my son and my husband and that i miss them because i haven't been home in over 24 hours so i will see you guys in the morning bye just need to clear my, i just need to clear my head we are here last day of mustard seed market it is sunday I finally have my ring on because I was at home and I could actually get it because I left it at home the last two days and it's felt weird. Um, even though I like rarely wear it at home. So, but like being in public, it's weird. Anywho, a rough start to the morning. We <laughs> watched a squirrel uh, die and we got flipped off. Unrelated experiences. <laughs> Can you imagine? Um, no, it's, yeah. We're here though. Good news. I somehow managed to cut 15 minutes off my drive because traffic was like ideal conditions. So I think that that is a good start. Bad start, good start, bad start, good start. Um, we have to set up our tent, like get all the clothing out. Cause I've been bending it up every night just in case do. I don't want moisture on anything. Obviously my bookmarks bagged them up, packed them up. Um, 
and we're going to expand out because like I said, Jess is not going to be here today. So I am taking over a little bit of like her space just so it's not like a gap there. And I, I could use more room. So I need to pee and we need to do that. I will take you on the journey. I just need to clear my head. gonna make this short and sweet because we are disgusting again I'm gonna do my best to let them or ask them to let me inside the building one of the four buildings for the September market like whatever I can do I will get rid of whatever they need me to to let me in 
if that's possible. Um, all right. We sold out of one of my bookmarks. <laughs> We sold out of the night court bookmarks. I'm going to use that like beginning phrase just to trick you guys a little bit. Um, <laughs> in the intro. Yeah, we did sell out of one thing and it was the night court bookmarks, <laughs> which actually pretty much always, it has sold out before. Not always. I don't know why I said always. Um, because as we know, the last couple of markets has not sold out of anything. But we did today. So that's good. Um, it was a busier than yesterday or on the same. Yeah, but overall it was slow. But I'll go into details probably tomorrow or the next day. I'm very burnt. Like if you cannot, the elephant in the room is my skin is very red. And a lot of people were pointing it out. And I said, I'm wearing sunscreen. But I am on Accutane. And that makes me burn <laughs> more than I already would have anyways. So... I just want to let you know I am home. It is 6.46. I need a shower and I think we're getting pizza. So that concludes today and I'll see you on the wrap up and I'll go over like sales and how much I tracked and whatever. So see you then. Hello, welcome back. I have you on my charm bar. So what you're seeing right here are my bookmarks. Okay, that's better. Um, it has been three days. This is six. Three days since I almost said charm at the farm. I did not get accepted in that one. I do want to do this one day. Mustard seed market. Um, my thoughts. My feelings. My money. <laughs> it was by far the best ran market I've been to and the cutest dang market I've been to. It had all the things you could want. It had food, delicious food. It had, okay, they have a tea trailer. It, I don't, I don't know what they put in it, but it's like, you have to have it. It is so good. <laughs> and I know what they put in it, it's tea. <laughs> and fruit and like oh my gosh what I would get is the shady lane and it is supposed to be like lemonade and blackberry and cream I think those are the three things but I split the lemonade with half unsweet tea so good so good I will forever keep getting that and they gave all the vendors three free drinks. And that's amazing because I used them all, plus more. I bought some. And my mom bought a big mug. And when you buy the big mug, it's $20. And then you get lifetime, as long as you have the mug, um, refills for $3. That's a good deal. Get the big mug. Get the big bug. I'm telling you, when you're there, get the big mug. And just keep going to the markets because it's cute. And I loved all the vendors there. Um, I was outside. Now this is the first year they've ever done outside vendors. I, the product category that I was in, and I honestly think the main category I'm in is clothing, and they had so many clothing vendors, whereas I would honestly say my main product category is bookmarks at this point. Um, but because they had so many clothing vendors, uh, I did not get accepted into an indoor spot, which sucks because I got so burnt. I was outside. There were only, I think like, probably eight of us outside, so not a lot. And we're kind of pushed off to the side. There was a row of the buildings and then um, on the other side of like the fairground area was us. I don't think that affected our sales. Um, I know a lot of the vendors that were around me thought that it was affecting them. I really don't think so. I do believe that if you were there as a shopper, you saw us, you knew you were there. I don't think you would avoid us purposely. I just, I don't think so. Um, the people that ran it were very sweet. They had a lot of people working. Um, a lot of their kids were also working and yeah, it was overall like a really cute market, really cute market. Um, the whole weekend though, like I feel like the vibes around me and like people and how they were feeling was kind of rubbing off on me because it was slow it was not what i expected as far as traffic goes but the organizers also said it was way slower than they like expected and you have to think like <laughs> they're they're making money off a lot of foot traffic so if they're not getting foot tracker, 
<laughs> foot traffic. They're not making money. We're not making money. Like no one's winning there. You know what I mean? And like they did really good with their marketing. They were on top of it. And so I, I have nothing bad to say. Nothing bad to say at all with how it went. The only thing like I didn't like being outside. I 100% the next day and I felt bad doing this. I'm like they're probably like one, I know they have people that have just had bad attitudes the whole weekend and like I'm not coming at it at all like that. So I was trying to be like as nice as possible knowing they have probably had a headache from the entire weekend, you know? And like it, I'm exhausted, they're probably like a hundred times more exhausted. So I'm like, hey, sorry to bother you. <laughs> um, if there's any way, can I please, please, please be considered for an indoor spot for the fall? I was like, I'll change my product like category, bookmarks my main thing. It has been for a while, like a few months now. Um, I will bring just a small clothing rack of sweatshirts and um, the rest will just be bookmarks. I'm like I will do whatever I can to be indoors. <laughs> I want to be indoors. It was such a mess, like every day having to put all my bookmarks away because like when you're outside and the elements and like the dew, like I can't have my metals getting wet. Like, so I had to pack all of them. I had to pack all my sweatshirts up. Um, I had to leave just my stuff exposed out in the, <laughs> out in my tent. So I did not like that part, but it's something like I'm going to be doing in the future. It's not like I've never done it before. It's not like I'm not gonna ever do it again. But because there's four buildings, I'm like, just let me in. I walked around every single building. They had room for me, they had room for me. <laughs> so I hope they can somehow make room for me. I know it's more expensive. I think it's like $50 more or something to be inside versus outside. I will pay that. I do not mind that. <laughs> so anyways, moving on. I didn't buy a single thing from the weekend. I, normally I get like cookies, I get a piece of clothing. I, I don't know what it was. I think because I was so like, I've lost so much money, I can't afford to like anything where I just didn't. Um, my mom did buy me a plant though. So I did get a plant, a very pretty plant too. It's from the 937 plant lady, I'm pretty sure. It's her thing, I'll leave her Instagram below. Um, if I remember, I will post a photo of her or like show you in video. So that's the only thing I got. And then um, food wise, I probably, honestly, I probably spent like, <laughs> like 90-ish dollars, but that's because my mom and I, it was both of our food like once a day and everything was pretty much like $15 a plate. That's pretty normal from what I've seen. So. Okay, let's go in to what sold. I'd say by far, bookmarks sold the most, which I expect that, they're my lowest price point. Um, I did have a decent amount on, I think, f Saturday of sweatshirt sell. It was hot, y'all, it was like high 70s. I was not expecting that, thank the Lord. Cause those things take up so much room and I want to downsize. Like I don't want to have this much stock of like clothing anymore. Um, I was surprised they sold, so surprised. So I'm gonna still take them to my summer markets, but not, well, I'll probably still take all of them, honestly. Um, but I'm not gonna keep like restocking them, you know? My goal was $1,000. I said that at the beginning. My booth was $304. So my goal was to like triple that. And I said 1,000 because I didn't remember how much the booth was. So I'm like, just to be safe, let's say 1,000. So truly what is 304 i think it's like 912 times three yeah 912 so 912 should have actually been the goal to make to know i'm like profiting for sure um we did this is the weirdest part this breakdown of money so in venmo we did 276 dollars and 50 cents a lot of people did venmo my card reader was not working for one of the days and so they just did Venmo, no, no big deal. Um, in card, I did 317. And in cash, so this is the weirdest part, $437. I've never done more cash as like my main checkout like category. It's always been like the least, like a fourth of my sales are cash. Oh, like, pretty much half my sales were in cash. So like total, grand total, I sold a thousand 
and thirty dollars and fifty cents. That's great. I'm happy. Like, <laughs> did I expect more than that? For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Um, but I'm happy with that. Like, I I made my goal. Like, that is. How can I sit here and be like, oh, I'm so disappointed. You know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm happy. I feel good. I would do it again. Even the spring market. Everyone was like, well, it looks like spring market's not the one. Um, I'm so happy with my sales on that. Now, I do want to point out my mom did get us a hotel room. So, like, let's say that I had been the one to get us a hotel room. I don't know. I don't know. I think it would just... You would just have to pray that uh, future events, you get more foot traffic. But I have heard that fall and winter, I didn't get into the winter one, FYI, um, but I am in the fall one. I've heard that, that they get so much busier. So we're going to hope that is the case. Um, I had a good time. I was stressed about the tent situation and like the rain and everything. Um, but Saturday and Sunday it didn't rain, so that was good. Friday it did when we were setting up. It was really like, I just felt gross all week. I was sweaty, I was hot, I'm on Accutane, so like I'm already predisposed to like a ton of sweat and um, burning. So that didn't help anything. My best sellers were, I sold, I told you guys, <laughs> um, I sold out, I did, I sold out of my Night Court bookmarks. Obviously I have them now because I made more in the past two days I've been making them. Um, and I sold a bunch of my strawberry bookmarks, which no surprise there. And then I had little kids that were really liking my dog bookmarks. The thing that I do also want to talk about is that a lot of my sales were from other vendors. Um, and I think that's why I had the most cash out of like all the purchase categories because us vendors have cash on us. My largest sales were from other vendors. So um, I think that's kind of going to be a theme is just like other vendors buying things. Clearly, you're I'm at a market, they're at a market and we're going to shop each other's stuff. So um, thank the Lord for other vendors too. <laughs> I didn't have any negative experiences. I don't think so. I had one lady that like annoyed me. <laughs> um, but like she was trying to like, <laughs> can I don't know how to explain this. So I have my Stanley charms and I have my strawberry one and she was there with a friend and uh, we were talking about how like all the little kids have Stanley. She's like, Oh, I know I'm a teacher and um, I have to hear them down the hall. And then she took my Stanley charm and like my tumbler and just started like banging it. Cause she wanted to like make the point of how annoying it was, but she went like, she over exaggerated and like kept go way too long with it. Like I'm talking a solid minute of her just standing there doing that. And like me and then like her friend being like, okay, we get it. And she's like, no, you, I don't think you really do. Like I have to listen to this every day. I'm like, just like, so you're going to buy that? Like, I didn't say that obviously when she didn't buy it. I'm like, the, I don't know, that, that that rubbed me the wrong way a little bit. I know she wasn't trying to like insinuate that it was a stupid product or try to hurt my product. But like, that was just like, mm, I'm, if you could just like move on at this point. <laughs> um, and then funny aspects. I did have a girl, she was taking photos of my like bookmarks but she wasn't saying anything and like I remember telling my mom I was like sometimes I wonder when people take photos like are they it's because like they like the stuff that I have is it because they want to find it somewhere else is it because they want they want to make it um just like a simple comment like I don't like it didn't bother me at all like feel take as many photos of you, my booth as you want it was just like a little strange um when it was happening because like we weren't like talking about it um because when I go I'm always just like this is so cute can I like I guess people probably think the same of me when I'm like filming for YouTube of like what is she doing with my footage um but the next day a girl came she's like oh my gosh my friend um sent me a bunch of pictures of your bookmarks yesterday and told me I had to come um get one and I'm like, oh, that makes like, in my mind, I was like, that makes so much sense. And um, also thank you to whoever did that. 
Um, I greatly appreciate it. And then I had another one from Middletown, a girl. She's like, oh, I saw you at the Middletown show. And like, she recognized my like booth. And I thought that was cool. Oh my gosh. All the kids, all the kids love like the bookmarks. They're shiny. I understand it. Asher loves them. Um, there was a puddle in front of my booth. Uh, Friday and Saturday, it was a puddle. Sunday, it had like dried into a mud. But every kid when they saw the water like immediately jumped in it or like like started like running towards it and like dipping their toes and all the parents were like do not touch the puddle you know um and one of the parents she's like the kid was like kind of tipping its toe in and she was like do not touch that puddle and then she went into my booth but she left the kid Okay, and I'm watching the kid and I'm like, that kid's getting in that puddle. And of course he just goes like hands up and just like smacks down and like is playing and rubbing in it. And mom's not paying attention at all. You know, she's shopping, she's doing her thing. I'm watching the kid still and he has his hands in that puddle and he looks up and you would have thought that he saw like Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory. His eyes just lit up and I knew he saw my bookmarks because he just flung his hands up and he started just like rubbing, rubbing, rubbing down, like drying them off and running at my bookmarks. And I'm just like, oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> like do not touch the clothing do not touch the clothing but he's like still just like as he's running rubbing his clothing and he in his defense like he was like three you know um he did such a good job of like rubbing his like clothes down and drying them before he attached himself onto the bookmarks um when they left i did however wipe some of them down <laughs> but i the, ever everything was fine I was just like in my mind, like he's like the sweatshirts are really like right next to us. I'm like, do not touch the sweatshirts. <sighs> I did have a uh, girl next to me, and we are friends now. Her name's Jess, and her um, I'm looking down because I actually have one of her bags. So my mom bought her um, one of her sweaters, Sony Rose Boutique. Such cute stuff. Um, did not she did not do well. I do not understand it. She had such cute stuff, um, but it just like no one was going in her booth. It was very, very strange. Uh, my mom obviously did because she bought a sweater from her, um, but she actually didn't come on Sunday, which is sad, but I also understand it because she didn't, like she lives far like I do away. Uh, I think she lived like an hour 15 away from there and uh, she was gonna be missing a game. And at that point, like she had only by like Saturday, so like two days in, there was one day left, she had only made my mom sail. Um, I just, yeah, I, I don't understand it. But anyways, I took over, I asked the organizer's husband, well, it's her, uh, he does it too, um, if I could like expand my booth out and just have my clothing racks out in her space. And he was like, yes, of course. Um, and so I put mine out there, but it was so windy. I wasn't thinking like, I need to get stakes to put into my clothing racks so that they don't fall over because they definitely fell over not once, but twice. Um, so we need to remember to get stakes for next time. I would love to do a 10 by 20 booth space. I don't want to buy a 10 by 20 tent though. So I think like for Apple Butter Festival, when they're only a $60 booth space, I think I'm going to end up getting like an extra large one and then putting, if it's nice weather, putting clothing racks out there, if that's possible. I don't know. It might be that I have to have a 10. I'll really think that through. Um, but anyways, that was my mustard seed market um, breakdown. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Like this is something I've been curious about because I watch market blogs. I watch some people that say they only tell you their goals and like how many sales they get. They don't tell you any numbers. Numbers, and I watch people that give you all the numbers like I do. I'm curious, what do you prefer? And I'm taking this to heart. So like, you need to comment this. Do you want to know just like numbers of sales and my goal and like the, do you want to know booth fee? Or should I leave all that more private and just give you like broader numbers? Tell me what you think. I'm very curious. And I'm going to head out and I will see you very soon because we have the wine festival here in a week and a half and I'm excited for it because we're going back to my favorite place of Oxford. I'll see you in a market prep vlog next. Bye. I just need to clear my mind.